You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there watching this content on Christmas Eve. We here at the Rice Gang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Um, appreciate you guys checking out this content all year. You know what I'm saying? The folks who had uh, copped the merchandise and all that. I know there was a few people asking for this uh, joint right here. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the double XL joint. If y'all want that, let me know. I'll make it available. But uh, they be available for a limited time. You know what I'm saying? Like limited. And then when they sell out, they sell out. Um, New Jersey Twerk and Swamp. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Merry Christmas in advance. If you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, wherever you at. Merry everything and Happy New Year in advance. You know what I'm saying? New Year's coming. I hope that you all are focused on your vision and channeling in that energy that's going to be important for you to succeed in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know a lot of people always been asking how to donate to the channel. I really don't be pushing like for donations and shit like that because you know we're really like a self-sustained unit. But um, today, if you would like to, I'll drop my cash app. That's if you want. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not pushing for that. But if you want to. My cash app will be there. It's the holidays, but uh, so Swamp, you know Swamp, uh, he's he he's been heating up as of late. You know what I'm saying? Swamp has uh gained pretty much a name for himself after Volume Five. You know he battled Ace I mean on Volume Five, and um, you know to me, I had thirty, I had it thirty. It is what it is. But uh, Ace didn't get through his material. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like, chup, slip, blip. oh, give me my water, give me my water, give me my water, give me my water. Get my water, get my water, the whole battle. Um, and Swamp clearly won. And since he has won, a lot of people have had reaction to it. Some positive, some negative, but I'm looking at it like if Swamp did what he was supposed to do in the battle, if he did what he was supposed to do in the battle, how is people trying to talk down? Like this class right here, I have went on record and said it before, that this class right here, it's not really that top heavy. There's a couple guys, and I'm not. I don't want to go through this person, that person. I'm not dealing with that emotional shit on 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 the holidays. So, I ain't going from person to person. But when you look at previous classes, you had an Av who was a superstar when he came through. You had a Bridge. You had a T Top. You had uh, a lot of guys that were really, really like you seen that star potential out the gate. Even when Twerk and them came through, you know what I mean? Twerk was doing big things when he first came through. They didn't need rookies versus vets. They just put him and Geechee and all of them. They put him in front of vets. There was no need. They didn't have a, a, a introductory card like these are our rookies and we're putting them versus the vets because the guys that they felt like were strong enough, the guys that they felt like were strong enough, they, they just put them in front of vets and we've seen how they did. Um, some of the battles, you know, were uphill battles. Other battles were good. Some of they won, you know, and it was what it was. But in this class right here, there's a couple of cool, you know what I'm saying, a couple of cool MCs that need work, you know what I'm saying, that will continue to grow, you know, um, and I like Kid Chaos. I like Jay Kruger. I don't think Jay Kruger gets as much um, uh, esteem as he should be getting. I feel like the shit that he be doing, I feel like it's crazy. I like the way he punches. I like his setups. I like Kid Chaos. I was like one of the first people to tweet about Kid Chaos when I first seen his footage. But, uh, you know, Don, Don Marino is good. Swamp is good. Ace I mean, you know, he's had his moments. He's pretty good, too, you know what I'm saying, but uh, he has to get past the chokes and stumbles, but let me get into a swamp. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't here to waste y'all time. Um, swamp said, "Motherfucker, first off, fuck you. Sensitive is the clown ass theatrics you doing, showing what kind of lame you really are. You want smoke? You a shot caller, right? When my phone ring, I won't decline. Till then, keep that sucker shit over there. You a bozo." In regards to New Jersey twerks, you know, um, he, he's been saying he wants smoke with like the Jerry Wesses and he wants smoke with Swamp. And he, he went on a 15 Minutes of Fame interview and basically was saying that Swamp didn't deserve to be on volume five. The fact, like, like I, I literally like kind of hate on him because it's like he get so much recognition and clout and he's not that good. I was like, he don't deserve to be there. He didn't earn that. He shouldn't be getting the clout. See, when you have MCs, that have been places for a while, they don't be liking to see other people's come ups. Don't get it twisted and think that these guys are all for and embracing, especially when the person that's coming up is not in their crew. Um, Twerk wants, if, if Ace I mean with a 30 swamp, none of this conversation will be going on right now. None of, none of this swamp. Let's just be, let's be honest. If Ace 30 swamp, this conversation wouldn't be happening. But, you know, he pretty much, Ace had egg on his face. So now Twerk is coming to his defense, you know what I'm saying, trying to like, step in there and want that smoke with him. Uh, Swamp then went on to tweet. 
I got this nigga caring about a battle and actually wanting to kill something. Oh, little, little old Swamp. Ah, I might be on the right track. And then Swamp also said, they gunning for me, mama. And I want all the smoke. They gunning for me, mama, and I want all the smoke. And, um, you know, he basically said, uh, tw and then Swamp went on to say, Twerk, you a corn, bro. That hate shit is disgusting. Shit kills when you a real nigga. Shit kills niggas when you real. Basically saying that, you know, it kills people when, um, you know what I'm saying, you doing what you doing coming up and building your own following and things like that. Um, I feel like Swamp is ahead of his class. Like, even though, it's like, let's look at NBA draft classes, right? This is like basketball, right? You had strong draft classes, like LeBron's draft class that had LeBron, uh, fucking Wade, Carmelo, Chris Bosh. That was a strong ass draft class. And you've had weak draft classes, like when Anthony Bennett was selected at number one overall. Y'all following me? I don't want to go too far into this, but if you are taking advantage of the position that you're put in in a weak draft class, it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? It's not your fault that you're taking advantage of the position that you're put in. Um, should Swamp have been on Volume 5? I say yes, he did all of the right things to get there. There's been people on cards that they really did not earn. They didn't earn some of the shit that they did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, but who, you know what I'm saying, this is just my small opinion on my small channel, so you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, but if you're looking at things from the outside looking in, uh, Twerk did, Twerk said, a lot of top tier niggas gonna tell you you're trash and not give you a battle, I'm saying this, you trash, and I want the smoke to further prove my point, this is battle rap, a competitive sport, if you too sensitive, get the fuck out the culture. Go knit a sweater, sissy, and added swamp. Saying basically, you know, I want to smoke. And, um, you know, if, 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 if me wanting to smoke with you is too much of an issue, then get out the culture. Um, like I said, Swamp has made the right moves. Swamp has not lost a battle. I mean, the ones that have, like, really started to surface, like him, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to fit it off from 100 yards, no cap. Him versus Bad News. Him versus Ace I mean, him versus Don. He ain't lost no battle. So to say that he don't deserve the clout that he's he wins, he's winning all his battles. And then he said something about uh, the single soul lines. But if I run in the Goonies crib, guess how many motherfuckers live? Worse than my Tim's, not a single soul talking about it. You know, we put that single soul line in the group chat. That's what Twerk was saying. That you use the line that we put in the group chat. But Twerk has used lines from other battles. So I don't know, like, this shit crazy, bro. Like, <clears throat> Wait, what's worse, using a line that they put in the group chat or using some shit from... You know, we're not going to do that today. But uh, I, I, I see Swamp rising. Him, Swamp, going into the new year, Swamp and Jerry West are probably the, the, the names that are really getting talked about. I'm going to drop something else on Jerry West once I drop this right here and what's been going on with him and who, who's he's, who he's potentially going to see next. Um, but... I like what Swamp is doing. I, I, I like the fact that he's not trying to join none of these big established crews, no NWX. He's not trying to be like in fucking uh, goddamn the, the, the Beastie Boys, whatever fucking groups is out there. Taco Bell Mafia, all these niggas that's already established. He's not trying to join none of those cliques. He just wants to do his own thing and put on for South Carolina, and I respect that. And like I said, I feel like Kid Chaos is another one that when he starts getting them shots and standing in front of names and really getting to prove himself, he gonna cook too. Jay Kruger's fire too. It's a lot of cats that got some talent, you know what I'm saying? But I really don't really delve too deep into it because like a lot of new cats have emotions. Like they be really emotional and shit. And I'm not going back and forth with niggas like, in my opinion, be just that. That's the crazy thing. It be opinions about an opinionated sport that people get mad and be like, oh, y'all don't battle rap, so y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about, blah, 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 blah. And I ain't trying to deal with that shit. So I watch it sparingly like a lot of the new guys. Like I dip my head in. If something's really crazy, I'll talk about it. If not, then you know what I'm saying? I just keep it moving and do what I do. But um, Swamp, um, he called out Twerk. Basically said, you know, you hating. And Twerk even admitted that he was hating. That's the thing he said he admitted in the 15 Minutes of Fame interview. Go watch that shit. He admitted, he said, I'm hating. I'm hating because of the clout. Like, he, he doesn't deserve the clout that he's getting or whatever the case may be. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the reasoning is. Really, he just admitted that he was hating. Like, yo, I'm hating on the cloud. I'm hating on, you know, there's other people that deserve the, the spot that he's in and saying that he's not really that good. And if he gets the T-Top battle, T-Top is going to show him the difference. Well, I would like to see it. I would definitely like to see it. Because like I said, Swamp can stand on the fact that he ain't really lost no battles. What battles has he clearly been smoking? What battles has he lost? Really, like clearly, that came out 
and like did he get destroyed? PGs and all of that shit just be PGs. That's the process. Niggas lose, niggas lose PGs every day. B, you be alright. But once you start getting on like Survivor Series and volumes and stages and shit, that's when it really, really, really counts. Like college is cool, but unless you win the NCAA championship, niggas don't really give a fuck about college. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't matter. Like college is cool, but when you get to the NBA, that's when everything is gonna count. And I think Twerk mentioned uh, Fonz. He said Fonz was nice. And he mentioned a couple other people. Bankhead, things like that. It's the, the 15 Minutes of Fame interviews up there. Salute to 15 Minutes of Fame for even doing that joint. Um, I did watch it. And um, I, I gained from it what I did gain from it. But I feel like uh, to say Swamp hasn't earned his keep, that's kind of blasphemous. Because, like I said, this class is... N this is the reason why they have they putting together rookies versus vets because a lot of the cats in this class is just okay. Like I don't see Gichi Gotti's not walking through that door. Is he? Is a Gichi Gotti walking through that door? Is a fucking Rum Nitty walking through that door? Huh? Is a Gichi is a Gichi is a Rum Nitty is is a B dot is a is fucking even a Jerry West like Jerry West would be clearly hold up hold up hold up you know what I'm saying I ain't got no work on me but uh a Jerry West would be hands and feet above a lot of these cats. And we're gonna talk about Jerry West in the next one, and then I'm gonna get on about my day. But other than that, salute to the subscribers. That notification, gang, you already know what it is.